Hello, my name is Lucas. This is a bit of lit, and I'm going to talk to you about Moonfleet, 1898 um, adventure novel by J. Mead Faulkner. And uh, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I don't particularly care about John Trenchard, who is the main character. But uh, he is from Moonfleet, which had a prominent family, the Mahoons. Uh, and one of the Mahoons was Blackbeard. <laughs> okay. And in this town, there is a magistrate called Maskew. And a teacher person, Mr. Rasty? Or, no, Mr. Ratsy. And then there is this guy that is a, like a landlord, and he is uh, El Vizier, El Elzevir, yeah, not El Vizier, Elzevir, um, who takes in John Trenchard. Uh, there's a local myth that uh, Blackbeard's ghost uh, wanders around at night, and that it, it, he has this diamond from King Charles I. And early on, um, Elzevir, his son David, is killed uh, in a smuggling boat raid accident situation <laughs> thing, which makes Elzevir quite upset with Maskew. Uh, there's a storm. And, uh, at night, uh, John notices some sounds coming from the crypt, and he thinks it's the spirits, because he believes in these superstitions, of in 18th century southern England, if I remember right, yes. I, well, I know it's in England, I can't remember if it's in the south, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, <laughs> embarrassing. Um... And so, you know, he he hears that, oh, they're just checking on damage, but he goes to investigate and uh, finds himself in a spot of trouble uh, when he's going to investigate and they come back. And he finds, he finds more than he bargained for, but unfortunately he gets trapped uh, and, you know, blacks out gets blackout drunk <laughs> trying to find something to drink and all there is is contraband wine um, and he's kicked out uh, he's an orphan boy John he's kicked out by his aunt who uh, who took him in for love of her sister and uh, he's taken in by Elsevier as a sort of son figure so he can be a father figure because his son died and they're together a lot, and they get into all kinds of trouble, and John falls in love with Grace, who is Mr. Maskew's daughter, and, uh, yeah, he, I mean, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that happens. Uh, there's this place called the Why Not that uh, the lease comes up in Maskew, bids bids for it and this again upsets um Elsevier <laughs> so things are not looking good for well Elsevier in a way bad things keep happening to him but you can only go so far and action is taken and this leads down a, a slippery slope of wildness and adventure and all of that is good fun and interesting except the main character he feels really passive um i think it's because you know he's in love with grace and she's introduced fairly early on so you know he's gonna be with her by the end or at least you feel like she is he is and he is um I compare it in my mind uh, to Treasure Island and John Trencher to 
uh, Jim Hawkins, and it, they're not even the same, not even remotely close. Jim Hawkins is active, he, he makes choices, he, you know, gets into trouble and he has to figure things out for himself, and I'm not saying John doesn't do it, but, you know, it, it, like, with the way everything works out, narratively speaking, of course he does make choices, uh, he is active at times, um, but, and there are even times where I do enjoy him, but I guess, in a way, it's like I know his ultimate fate, and I'm following him, and he's the narrator. So, eh, I don't know what's going to happen to him. I should enjoy the journey, but in the journey, all I can think of is like, well, you're going to get married to Grace later, or you're going to be with Grace later. And he is. <laughs> and so, I don't know. And I also feel like, you know, it was really hard for me not to think of Jim Hawkins uh, in Treasure Island. And I just, I am I wish I'd just read Treasure Island again, because Jim Hawkins is so cool, and uh, I really like that book. Uh, this book is perfectly fine. Uh, it, it is good fun. Uh, I did enjoy it. Um, I am glad I read it. Not totally for me, but uh, yeah, good fun. That was my slight review. <laughs> of Moonfleet. Uh, if you've read it, let me know. Um, maybe he is a lot more active than I'm letting off. Maybe I'm just, like, comparing it too much to Treasure Island, uh, which I love so, so much. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I also feel like there's more complexity to, um, all the characters there than there is here, personally, but it's a fine novel. It's good fun. It's only about 300 pages, and uh, you can enjoy it. Thank you, bye.